So, I'll be taking these boring keyboards and upgrading into something amazing. But there's a twist. Instead of choosing random keyboards, I'll be upgrading your favorite keyboards, the one that you voted for. And whatever the top comment says, I'll do that to these four keyboards. To get this kicked off, I created a poll with four different options and let you guys pick your favorite keyboards, and the results were conclusive. You all wanted to see the RKA4 by a huge margin, and I'm happy to oblige. I've got some sick ideas up my sleeve. At least I think they are, but it's too early to say. The second most popular option was the Keychron K2, so naturally, I would upgrade that, right? WRONG! No, I'm going to upgrade the C1 instead. A few months ago, I reviewed the C1, and I said I would mod it, but I never did. And you guys won't stop hounding me in the comments, so here it is. Just stop now, please. Stop commenting that. Just stop. Let's get this kicked off with the C1 upgrades and then I'll do the RK84. The C1 is dang good out of the box and honestly it's one of the best budget options out there but it can still benefit from a few upgrades here and there. The case itself is pretty hollow and it's a little bit rattly so I'm gonna fix that up later on. Also, this is interesting, the top case pops right off and that's when I was hit by a stroke of genius. Pure creative genius! I'm going to go with a green and black colorway and a design on the back that's never ever been done before in the land of keyboard. But for now, let's focus on the front. Most people put anime zoom on their thumbnails, but I'm gonna put anime zoom on my keyboard and maybe my thumbnail too. The first thing I did was remove the top case and prep it for painting. I had to sketch the design and tape it over with thin tape strips that I cut apart with an X-Acto knife. It was actually super satisfying. Last time, you guys complained that I was using my X-Acto knife on a brick, so I went out and I bought a cutting board. And it was freaking expensive! So go subscribe or I'm gonna cut on that brick again. For the paint, I decided on a nice matcha green color that would match these keycaps that I picked out just Perfect. And it took three layers to get it just right. Honestly, the design turned out super cool and I can't wait to see this finished product because it's so perfect. There were a few imperfections so I covered that up with some permanent marker and no one will ever know a thing. Nobody will ever know. If you think the paint is nice, you ain't seen nothing yet. The front of the keyboard is a little too exciting, so I thought it would be funny if you flipped it around and saw the complete opposite reaction. So following the green and black theme, I decided to throw on Mike Majowski, Malowski, the Monsters Inc. dude, the green guy. I first outlined the shape of him on the keyboard with a pencil. It already looks so funny. Then I added a layer of gesso. Boy, look at this massive tub of gesso. I hope you all like this painting stuff or I'm gonna feel really awkward. I realized it would take several layers to cover up the black paint. Once the gesso primer was dry, I started painting him in. And I had already mixed a bunch of the colors beforehand to get every shade of green on the rainbow. I ended up going a little crazy and shaded him in quite a bit and I just wanted him to be beautiful. I like doing something a little bit weird on the back because nobody will ever see it besides you. Some of you are gonna say that I'm ruining this keyboard by doing this, but you know what? It's beautiful. I admit he looks a little bit like a bowling ball, but I'm proud of it. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Now for the rest of the upgrade. I took apart the C1 and rolled up my sleeves for the mod. I did the basic stabilizer mods and made them sound perfect. I also lubed the Gateron brown switches with a thin lube. I know you guys don't like it when I swap out too many parts of a keyboard, so for this one, I decided to keep the original switches. For the keycaps, I picked up two sets. One is a deep black color and the other is a mint green color. I'm gonna combine these two sets to make a nice two-tone keycap set. And that'll accent my paint quite nice. Once all the keycaps were put on, I popped the top case back on and here's the finished product. I might have gone overboard on the black and green, but you know what? It looks good.
Next up, we're looking at the RK84. Looking at you. This thing is a beast out of the box and is packed with some awesome features. The only downside is that this case has a really super boring white design and it could benefit from some chunky upgrades. In the poll, the top voted comment said to use these weird silicone keycaps, so we had to pick some up. Yes, please! They are made of these squishy material and they feel super weird. I'm not sure why anyone would use these. And the color palette is just horrible. But it's what you want. It's what you need! The real difficult part here is that finding a design to match these keycap sets will be quite the challenge. I honestly can't think of a way to paint this keyboard that will look good with these keycaps. That's when I realized the top case pops off and I was hit by a stroke of genius. Pure creative genius! As I pondered what to do, two words swirled around in my head and I knew it was the answer. Hydro, hydro, dip, dip. Or is that one word? Doesn't matter. It's two words. I decided I would hydro dip the top case with a mix of colors that would hopefully match these keycaps. Hopefully. I went with blue, white, and matcha green. I filled up a container with water and spray painted it in alternating fashion until there was enough color. And then I gently dipped the keyboard until it was submerged. And then I pulled it out gently. And boom! It's done! It actually went surprisingly smooth, except the water container ruptured. But check out the finished product. It's absolutely beautiful. To be fair, it doesn't exactly match the keycaps, but come on, it's gorgeous. It's like a beautiful Easter Sunday morning. Next up, I took apart the case and gutted the keyboard. Honestly, I'm not sure what to do with all these switches and keycaps laying around. So I just end up hoarding them all. I mean, look at this bag of mismatched Garon switches. It's horrendous. Let's just shove that away in the back of the closet. Now it's time for the stabilizer mods. Oh yeah. For the switches, I opted for some good old Garon yellows. It's a little embarrassing, but I have nine total boxes of Garon yellows, all totaling up to over a thousand switches that I got dropped to send to me. And they were like, what do you need a thousand switches for? And I was like, I got a sick idea. But I ended up scrapping that idea, so yeah. That's awkward. So now I have a thousand switches that I have no idea what to do Sorry, with. Drop. If you ever buy Garon Yellows now, make sure you buy from them so they don't hate us anymore. Link is in the description. The Get Yellows I used for this build were lubed with 205G0 and they feel just great. Then I packed the case full of foam and finished up the build. I popped on the top case and it turned out pretty good. It sounds and feels amazing to use, but these keycaps are just ugly. Plus, they feel strange. It's like typing on mushy jello. Ugh. The colors on the case don't exactly match the hydro dipping, but you know, it was super fun to do and it still looks really cool. Overall, I thought both keyboards turned out really, really cool. The C1 reminds me a lot of the OG Razer keyboards, but I took it to a whole nother level. It's a little too over the top for my taste, but I'm glad I tried the anime zoom design. While the RKA4 is a super weird build and it could benefit from some better keycaps, this series isn't about being pretty, it's about what you want to see. In the future, I want to try out some more unique stuff. So if you really like these, leave a comment down below about what keyboard you want to see next and maybe some really cool things we can try out too. And whatever the top comment is, I'll do it in the next episode. As long as it's not anything too bad. If you're interested in seeing me upgrade more keyboards, check out this video right here. It's super cool. Please subscribe.